you could be inventing a solution to a problem that many photographers face and then productizing it. This is the Cardi method. Diversifying your income streams. Like this is something that took me years to figure out, years. I mean, I started diversifying my, like, my income streams halfway through my career so far. So if I started in 1990, in 2009 can you imagine 2009 it's not even like it's way later than half my career but i started making video when canon dropped the first camera that like the 5d this i bought the uh, 7d like i had the 5d but the five uh, way different one but um later what I'm trying to say is when Canon dropped the cameras that started to shoot video, you just flick the switch, video stills, I started learning how to shoot and edit video. And that was the beginning of me diversifying my income stream. If I hadn't have done that back in 2009, like right now, 50% of my income is making video content. And now I'm not talking about YouTube. I'm talking about client videos. Like 50% of my money is, is made making videos for clients. So that was the first diversification of my income stream. So relying on a single source of income is risky. And I was relying on being booked as a photographer. That was my single source of income. As soon as I started adding video, well, then people would hire me to shoot stills and they'd be like, you shoot video too? And I'm like, yeah. And then I'd get hired to do that as well. And I would double my income. Relying on a single source of income is risky, especially in the unpredictable world of photography. Over the years, I've diversified my income streams and it's made a huge difference, literally. Client work is great, but imagine when you're not getting client work, I only used to make money when I made photos. Like, and that's my only income stream was photography. So when I wasn't making money from making photos, I was starving. So change that immediately. When you start a new avenue, like making video content or creating stock photography and stock video, drone flyovers, like walk through cities with like a, a 4K stabilized camera and you can sell that footage. Once you get experienced enough and start getting some traction, you can start teaching something about what you know at an expert level, what you've actually figured out to work if that's making videos if that's shooting talking head videos if that's shooting headshots start teaching other photographers how to shoot headshots like you do you could be selling books you could be selling prints you could be inventing a solution to a problem that many photographers face and then productizing it here's an example of that there's a photographer his name is gary fong and gary fong was a wedding photographer. Gary Fong was a wedding photographer. And this guy literally invented a product to diffuse light for on like on camera flash. So on camera flash didn't look so garbage. This guy literally invented a product and it's called the Gary Fong. And Gary Fong shows like what this this has this product has evolved so much and the price has gone up so much i mean this thing i have i remember buying this for 30 bucks it's 70 dollars canadian now and look at all the stuff and all the products that gary fong related to photography has invented this was just a wedding photographer and now is a multi, multi, multi millionaire because he invented the Gary Fong, this light modifier. So diversify yourself, productize something. If you see a solution, figure out a way to make it, like make something. If you see a problem, figure out how to make something for a solution or I started offering one-on-one -on -one mentorship. And again, I was doing workshops back in 2006 in person, long before YouTube or long before any of this, I was doing it in person. And I swear, it's like I taught everybody in the city. Like I, I had like 200 or 250 people, 300 people go through my one-on-one -on -one training in person. And I was turning people into photographers that way. So 
I started offering one-on-one -on -one mentorship online with my YouTube channel and that was one of my diversifications. So understand that diversification not only provides financial stability, but it also keeps your work exciting and varied. You can also diversify by stacking your niches. You don't have to just shoot headshots. You can shoot headshots in fashion. You can shoot headshots and corporate headshots. You could shoot like, a, like it's all under the same umbrella. You could start shooting editorial, start shooting for magazines, start shooting lifestyle, a little bit of advertising. Now you're doing all these different things under the same umbrella, but you're stacking your niching. You're, you're stacking your niches. So when I added coaching and master classes to my services, what it had allowed me to do is I got to share my 33 years experience and all my knowledge and it generates additional income. My YouTube channel, I get to share my experience, my insights, and it generates extra income. So diversify your income streams.